Hi there, TCS. This is Rachel Brockman, and I'm going to take a few moments to share with you about the basic navigation for the start page that you will see whenever you log in to PowerSchool Sys. I have logged in to PowerSchool Sys. I found the link in Clever, and I used my TCS login to log in uh, to the program. It always takes you straight to your landing page, and the default for your landing page is always the start page. So that's what I'm viewing right now. For most of you, uh, start page will always start with the homeroom class at the top. And then underneath it, it will list all the content areas that you teach, each section of the content areas that you teach. So if you are self-contained, you are gonna see each content listed separately like this class here. If you are departmentalized, you'll see your homeroom, and then you'll see a different instance for each of um, the content that you teach. So you might see two math and two science, uh, or two social studies and two um, English, right? If you are a specialist, you will see a listing for each separate class that you see throughout the week. So you'll see them all listed there. So for each of the classes, um, the first link that you see is Power Teacher Pro. And you might remember that Power Teacher Pro is where we have our grade book, we've got all of our assignments in there, our student grades are in there. So you can click there and it'll take you out of Power School Sys and take you directly to your grade book. Next on the screen, you'll see a line of um, empty circles, and this is your attendance notification. So if you have not submitted attendance for that day, that blank is going to be, it's just going to be a circle that's empty. When you have submitted attendance for the day, it will turn the color green. And we're going to get into this a little bit more, more deeply when we talk about taking attendance. The next icon you see is single day attendance. Um, a lot of teachers like to use this just as a quick and easy way. It just shows a list of students. Again, we'll go deeper into that when we talk about attendance. Next icon is multi-day attendance. Um, you might want to use this if a student comes to you with a letter that's saying they're going to Disney for five days and you need to go ahead and mark them absent for all five days. Um, we also have seating chart attendance. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more in depth when we set up our seating charts. We have an icon for lunch count. There is a chance that the screen that you're looking at does not show this icon. Uh, Trustful City Schools did not purchase Power Lunch. CMP decided to go with um, Heartland instead of Power Lunch. So we will not be using this icon if you see it. There is a chance that it might not even be on your screen. The next icon is student information. Uh, we will be going into this icon in just a moment to see what kind of information you can get there. And then finally, you've got a print class report. Um, and when you go into there, you can click print an attendance report from the screen. Um, and when you do that, the report will show when it's completed. You'll see a check mark up here in your report queue. I want to take just a minute and go into the student information. So let's click on that real quickly. When you do that, it should take you to your student roster. I'm going to move my camera. Go to your student roster on the left. And then if you want to go into your content areas that you teach, you can swap roles um, by clicking down here on one of those. Once you're in here, um, it's important for you to know that you can navigate your reports differently depending on whether you click on the first student first name or student last name. So I'm just going to click on the first student, Apollo Anderson, and it's going to pull up his information. The default is always going to be uh, just a quick lookup of his attendance. Um, so this will be the first report you'll see. If you want to see this report for any other student, you can just click on that student's last name because it is the default report. Um, or if you want to go into a different report, you can do that on the right hand side of the screen. Before we do that, I do want to talk about the notifications that are next to Apollo's name at the top of the screen. Every student um, that you click on may have some of these icons at the top, but like Ashley, some of them don't. 
Um, if you look at the icons and hover um, over them, it tells you what type of alert that it is. This one's a medical alert. And if you click on the alert, it'll tell you more specifics about the alert. So when you see any of these icons, feel free to explore those. I'm going to go back to Apollo. Um, what I would like to do now is look at some of the different reports I can see about Apollo. So maybe I want to get Apollo's demographics. So if I click over here, these are all the different types of reports that you can run. And I'm going to find my demographic report and click on that. It will pull up Apollo's demographics, so I can scroll down and look at those. And if I want to see demographics for the rest of my students, um, I need to pay attention to the way I click on their names. If I want to see Ashley's demographics, um, I need to click on her first name, and it'll keep the same report that we selected over here. If I click on her last name, it is going to go back to the default report, which you'll remember is her attendance report. So if I want to see Ashley's demographics, I have to click on her first name, and it'll keep the same report and just pull up her information for that. If I want to see Stacy, same thing, click on that first name. Um, let's say that I need to see um, someone's attendance. If I click on that last name, it'll go back to the default report, which is attendance. So just know that, um, that the way you click on their name will, will change sometimes the different report that you're looking at. So just pay attention to which one you're clicking on. Um, finally, if you want to get back to your start, to your default page, remember you can always go back up to PowerSchool Sys, click on that. It'll take you back to our default landing page, which is the start page. Um, so why don't you take a few moments, log in to PowerSchool, and explore some of these icons that are on your start page. If you have any questions at all, you can always email me. My name is um, at rachel.brockman at trustfulcityschools.com.